Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for January 26th, 2022. My goodness, we had a wild price action day again yesterday with volatility showing uh, tremendous uh, point moves. Uh, throughout the day big swings we ended up closing just short of positive on the day in most of the indexes but doggone it we have um, a wild day of data coming our way that could change everything and although we are gapping up substantially this morning we should take just a little bit of caution as we approach this morning so how about we settle in let's buckle up let's take a look at these index charts see if we can't figure out how we may want to approach the market today on this Wednesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Top of the morning to all of my friends and fellow traders. My goodness, this wild volatility has probably got everyone on the edge of their seats. And we're, we definitely are overdue for a relief rally. But unfortunately, it looks like we're going to have such a massive gap up this morning. It could uh, create more challenging price action uh, for today. So let's take a look at these charts. Um, if we take a look here um, this morning, and you can see we have quite a little little bit of price resistance in this chart above. If we take a look at that trend break, we have um, a resistance level in that trend. We certainly have very strong resistance levels in this chart as we move up. So as we rally this morning on this big gap up, please keep in mind that we run the potential on a big gap up like this ahead of so much data, we could easily see a big point whipsaw or even a pop and drop on the day. So make sure you're staying focused in on that price action this morning, being careful not to get caught up in the hype and drama of the morning, just remembering the, the uh, you know massive amount of data coming our way today that could create more volatility and more uh, pain in the market if we're not careful. So plan your trades very, very carefully today as we look to to gap up substantially this morning. Let's take a look at our SPY. Now, SPY, we certainly have a lot of work to do here. We didn't quite recover um, all that well yesterday. And just keeping in mind that we have a um, substantial gap, gap up in the market, we'll want to think about these price resistance levels and that possibility of a whipsaw or even a pop and drop as we move back up into these resistance levels. And keep in mind on our technicals, oh wow, we've got a lot of work to do to improve these technicals. Certainly we could get back above that 200 day moving average, but let's keep in mind as we get back above that 200 day moving average, we could easily run into a substantial price resistance and downtrend in that chart, creating more selling. So make sure you're focused on those upside moves paying attention to those resistance levels just in case we have a, um, a an entrenched uh, group of bears. Obviously, those bears have been quite feisty. And obviously, our earnings have been kind of hit and miss this quarter. So we'll want to watch that pretty closely. Now, let's also take a look at that NASDAQ QQQ. Boy, this has been a challenging sector of the market, and it was the most overbought sector of the market um, overall, the most highly speculated on overall. And so we've certainly received tremendous punishment in that chart. Now, you can notice we're looking at a pretty substantial move up this morning in um, the QQQ with this gap up open. But let's also notice that even with that big move this morning, we're still well below price resistance levels in the chart. So as we approach those, we want to watch that possibility of those reversals or failure patterns or even those pop and drops as we progress throughout the morning. So watch carefully as we approach today. And let's keep in mind that while we're looking at that, we have a lot of technical damage that needs to be repaired and a rally back to the 200 day moving average could easily set up that next failure to the downside. Side. So go in with your eyes wide open um, on this market today. It's so easy to get caught up in the hype and the drama of the market. Um, we want to be 
leading the market, not letting the market lead us. And what I mean by that is, for example, um, the, the right way options members, we're already long um, some positions here in the market. This gap up this morning will provide a good profit potential and likely a place where I will probably just take those profits and um, then wait for the next entries into the trades. Be really careful of getting caught up in the hype and drama and letting the market lead you into uh, more danger and punishing whipsaws or reversals. Watch, um, watch that price action closely today. Stay very, very focused and try to remain calm. Let's take a look at our IWM. Now IWM certainly is in an oversold condition and probably the most damaged technically of our index charts. And if we take a look and rally back up here this morning, we have a lot of resistance in this chart that we're going to have to deal with as we move back up. And let's keep in mind that even as we move back up, we certainly could run right into resistance levels that could create that next failure in the downside move. And we want to make note of the fact that our 50 has already, 50 day moving average has already crossed down through that 200 day moving average. A lot of technical damage here in these charts. And we have to keep in mind that earnings have been really hit and miss. And we have some more big market moving earnings yet this afternoon. So let's take a look at um, our VIX and see if we can get an idea about what's going on with this volatility. Um, as you can see, VIX is, is called the fear index and fear index for a reason because we get very, very volatile when the market gets fearful. And you can see by the, at the close of the day, we closed up here above 31 handles. Now what that means for this morning, I know everyone wants to jump. They want to jump and rush right into the market. But keep in mind, if you jump in this morning, particularly with options, you're going to be jumping into a very high implied volatility options chain that could have wide bid ask spreads and very, very expensive options based on that implied volatility. So be really, really careful racing in this morning um, because of that danger of a volatility crush. If we do get that bullishness coming into the market and if it sustains, we could easily have a big volatility crush, which means you could actually be directionally correct on a position and still lose money if that volatility crushes a lot. So keep that in mind. And then also keep in mind that we are still in an uptrending move here on that volatility and we have significant levels of price support in that chart where we could catch price support um, as we pull back. So we definitely need a relief rally. We're overdue for a relief rally and that should pull back that volatility um, or the um, implied, or excuse me, the VIX volatility should pull that back, but we'll want to keep in mind that we may not be out of danger for more volatility as we rally toward resistance levels in the chart. Let's take a look at our T2122. Now, T2122 had a pretty substantial move back up yesterday um, in that chart. So we came out of that low area here um, in the market and we rallied nicely on the day um, out of that bullish reversal zone. And as you guys know, I have a pretty high confidence and actually quite high confidence in the T2122 indicator that tells us when we're overbought, oversold. It allows me to trade around these big moves uh, very, very effectively. And the right way options membership has benefited um, tremendously from that, um, uh, from the sell off um, to the rally back up. So let's watch this closely. A big gap up like we're seeing this morning could very quickly push us back up here into an oversold condition and it's just a short term over I mean overbought condition I meant it could very quickly push us into that short term overbought position and that creates that potential of the whipsaw or even the pop and drop reversal uh, chance. So we we'll want to watch that price action pretty closely this morning. Now, remember, we have a tremendous amount of data coming our way today. And if, with this gap up open, if we were to find something that brings out those bears again, that big 
gap up this morning creates a big upside or a downside opportunity. If we gap up into here, a big downside opportunity has been opened up if we find inspiration for those bears. If we can find inspiration for those bulls, if we can continue to push on up, we may still have some upside opportunity here before we reach that, reach that bearish reversal zone. But remember, when we surge these big point moves, the volatility can be very wild and punishing if we get that whipsaw within the day. Let's take a look at our T2108. Now, T2108 had some improvement yesterday, but I gotta tell you, it wasn't all that impressive. And so our T2108, we still have a tremendous number, more than 75% of our stocks still below the 40-day moving average. Now, I suspect the big gap up this morning will change that dramatically today, but let's keep in mind that we are still downtrending here and we have lots of resistance in this chart that we need to overcome. There's a lot of technical damage that will have to be repaired. So keep a close eye on these internals as we approach those resistance levels. And then take a look at T2107. The number of stocks below our 200 day moving average. Although we rallied yesterday, there was only a marginal improvement in T2107, which means we have significant levels of price resistance in this chart. Now I suspect we will see a nice improvement in this this morning on the gap up. But what that does is put us right into these resistance levels where we could see that potential reversal. Remember, we are still in a downtrending situation here on T2107. And with only 27, 28% of our stocks above our 200 day, there's an awful lot of technical damage that has to be worked through before we can really say we're bullish in the market. Let's take a look at our T2101. Now T2101 continued to surge to the upside yesterday because we had that wild volatility, hundreds of points being swung back and forth within the day, creating that painful environment for traders. And keep in mind that we have broken that downtrend here and we're holding above some support levels in the chart. When we get bullish, real bullish, we usually see um, our T2101 begin to pull back. Now with a big gap up this morning, we could actually see that surge a little bit more um, just because of the momentum of the move but watch carefully for that potential pullback and if we hold these higher lows and the bears start coming back in that's where some real selling could could um, occur and remember we've got big investors out there like Jeremy Grantham saying there's still a 45 percent correction yet to come in the market now that's a prediction and I don't know if any of these predictions are right but we want to keep our eyes wide open for that possibility and watch those resistance levels as we approach them don't get blinded by the uh, big point move thinking oh my gosh that fear of missing out out can create a lot of damage in your in your account so make sure you're staying very focused and following a set of rules here in in your trading so you don't get caught up in that wild volatility and then let's take a look at our economic calendar for today we have a lot of data coming our way today that could move the market substantially let's take a look here we've got an international trading goods um, number here they're looking um, um, a Kano Day consensus is suggesting that it improves just ever so slightly, but it's still going to be a massive trade deficit um, in the market. So you're going to want to watch that carefully. Of course, we ha we've got mortgage applications here this morning that could give us some clues about um, home sales and those kind of things. We're going to have new home sales here this morning, certainly is a market moving number. Um, there might be some um, worry here that the consensus number could be a little bit high if those new home sales start to slip because of the pressure that uh, consumers are feeling on um, on those inflationary and those wild uh, wildly high house prices that could start creating a little bit of downward pressure in the market as well and then we've got that petroleum status number let's keep in mind a couple weeks ago the OPEC group um, decided to increase pumping we have certainly seen um, oil prices hold up very well, very strongly here. We've got um, that issue with Russia and Ukraine that's likely creating some pressure in that. But if we 
suddenly see a surge in supplies that could certainly dampen the spirits of those oil prices. So make sure you're being careful here um, as we approach these numbers today. And then of course, the big one of the day, the place where we could see wild volatility, big price swings uh, possible, not, not doesn't have to be that way, but possible is right here in that FOMC announcement. Remember the FOMC is largely expected to announce a rate increase by March and a possibility of four rate increases this year. The markets usually don't like that. And remember when we increase rates, that is typically, uh, the reason we do that is to slow the economy, to pull all of that money out of the market to decrease inflation and it has the tendency of slowing the economy. So you'll want to keep that in mind and remember the Fed press conference, we can get wild volatility around that as well. Um, as we move through to tomorrow, oh my goodness, uh, tonight after the bell, we've got Tesla, we've got Intel reporting, and we know how wild those tech um, stocks can move the market. And then we're going to face a durable goods, a GDP, and a jobless claims tomorrow morning. So make sure you're preparing for that as we slide over into Thursday and a huge day of earnings coming on Thursday with Apple reporting as well. Let's take a look um, at um, that um, earnings calendar today. We have a pretty busy earnings calendar and I can't cover all of the notables here this morning on that earnings calendar with uh, about 120 or so companies listed. As I mentioned before, we're gonna hear from Intel. Um, Intel's trying to push up um, probably just because of the enthusiasm from that Microsoft guidance um, starting to move things back up. But we're also gonna hear from Tesla and we know these are market moving um, reports. We're also going to hear from some big stocks that could help us out in the Dow, like Boeing. We're going to hear from AT&T. We're going to hear from STX. We're going to get news from um, Las Vegas Sands. We're going to hear um, from um, quite a few of these companies like URI. Um, that could move us substantially in the market. So we're really going to have to stay on our toes, remembering that these earnings events have been pretty hit and miss so far this quarter. And if they continue in that fashion, they could create quite a little bit of volatility. So just kind of stay on your toes here today. Stay focused in the charts. Be careful not to let the market lead you. And if you want the full list of notables this morning, make sure you click that link just below the title of the video. That will take you back to the morning blog and give you um, that full list. So um, make sure you click that link and get over there. And by the way, it's going to be important that you make note of that because as we continue to ramp up in earnings, there's no way I will be able to cover them all in the morning videos. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me that quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it uh, pops up so you'll be notified every time I post one of these videos and if you find these videos to be helpful to be useful if you guys could continue to do me that favor um, clicking that subscribe button on YouTube and also clicking or clicking that um, thumbs up button and then clicking um, and leaving a brief comment on the video that helps the channel to continue to grow and I really really appreciate that a ton um, obviously the channel is continuing to grow we're approaching 26,000 subscribers and I never ever would have imagined there'd be this many people that would be interested in this kind of comment that provides no hype and no prediction in the market just taking a look at those technicals that can help us um, uh, stay calm and focused into the trading day. So thank you everyone for your kind support. And if you want to support the channel through the buy me a coffee link, that's just below the title of the video as well. I also truly appreciate that. And thank you for all of those who support the channel that way. Let's take a quick look at a few stocks setting up. Now I don't have a whole lot of time this morning and I have to tell you that there's a lot of danger 
um, in this market with potential whipsaws. But let's take a look at some of these stocks that have been extremely oversold. One of the things that we have done here in Right Way Options is picking up some bullish put credit spreads, and we're gonna we're gonna profit big time today on the QQQ bullish put credit spread. And as we approach resistance levels, we may actually be placing some bear call credit spreads on uh, those um, indexes as we approach that to continue to profit from these wild swings in the market. So you might want to take a look at something like that in those credit spreads and be looking at some of those very oversold conditions. Now, one of the things that I look for in charts, and it's really, really important, let's take a look at Intel here for, this, for a second. Intel has been a very volatile stock here, selling off strongly into that move. But one of the things I want to uh, want to mention in this chart is notice this big downtrend. We broke back down through that downtrend and we did break this upside trend um, in that chart. But notice right in here we're trying, trying to hold on to that downtrend level. Now I don't want to be trading the earnings event in here. That's very, very dangerous. There's really nothing different in trading earnings than there is in gambling. But what we want to see is we want to see that downtrend actually hold. So if we can push up on an earnings event, hold the higher low in here, then the institutions will have made a decision on direction and we can just follow that to the upside. So keep an eye on those kind of charts. If you want to catch early entries, let me show you uh, something here in a Heike and Ashy chart. And I'm going to once again be teaching a class on Heike and Ashy. If we take a look at Heike and Ashy and we take a look at a diamonds chart on the 15 minute, I suggested this yesterday um, for that upside move here in the Dow um, and the indexes yesterday afternoon. So if you want to catch some of those early entry points, look at some of those short-term charts to try and catch some of those early entries into any rally back, but be very, very careful to be watching for overnight reversals and those big whipsaws that occur in the market. I would still think it's a good idea to keep an eye on some of these big defensive stocks like General Mills. Notice it hasn't shown us all that volatility in the market that we've seen in other places good dividend payer, good safe place to maybe think about um, holding um, some of those trades. You might also want to be looking at stocks like Tyson. Tyson has pulled back here recently, but holding up very, very well. And those food and defensive agricultural related stocks have been holding very, very well in trends. And that's just because everyone really is expecting higher prices here in the future on all food products. So watch that carefully if that can continue to find its way to the upside. Um, stocks like Philip Morris have been very, very strong. Look at that big bullish move back yesterday in Philip Morris, holding on to this trend and that possibility that it could pop through some of these resistance levels and keep on going to the upside. So watch some of those defensive sector stocks. It may be a place where you can pick up a little bit of safety in a otherwise very wild market. So watch that closely. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to give you, uh, I wish you all a fantastic day in your trading. And I know this has been very, very challenging. And I know the emotion is very, very high. And when we get those emotional highs, in the market, these big swings, it can create that fear of missing out. I want to caution everyone not to let the market lead you um, in those, those fear, those fear and greed moves in the market. You want to be focused into those price action um, areas of support, resistance, and trend. That's where you're going to get your best clues for a trade. So stay focused in there. Remember, big gap ups can create big whipsaws. They can also create that pop and drop. Not that it will, but that we have to be prepared for that possibility with all the data coming our way. With that, everyone, have an awesome day, and we'll see you right back here, bright and early. Thursday morning. Take care, everyone.